on Asia Down Under today, one of the world's most prolific photo designers. The man behind New Zealand's most successful Chinese soccer club and the Human Rights Commission's annual diversity forum. Kia ora and welcome to Asia Down Under. A homegrown production is set to hit the international film scene. The short film is the work of a young Wellington filmmaker who is translating his own real-life experiences onto the big screen. Here's Jasmine Mie with the story. This August, Double Happy, a small film five years in the making, debuted in the capital and set sail for overseas. The second and latest short film by Fiji-born Wellington-bred Shahir Dowd, Double Happy has been selected to screen at two influential international film festivals. First Montreal and then Hof in Germany later this month. For a low-budget film funded by Creative New Zealand and the filmmakers themselves, this is major exposure. It's good that it's getting overseas and it's, it's kind of being seen. I, I think the main thing is it's being seen. Show me how to use it. There's a sort of a prevailing thought that short films are kind of stepping stones to feature films or, you know, they're kind of things that you do on the road to get where you're going. And I, I, I hope that Double Happy doesn't feel like that. I hope it's kind of more, it sparks a debate or, it, it, you know, people talk about it or they kind of, uh, they want to think more about it. Shahir's film certainly sets out to make audiences think. Based on catastrophic real events that occurred during Shahir's adolescence, the ambitious 15-minute dramatization scratches the surface of a group of teenagers' idyllic summer holiday. It begs challenging questions about racial violence, peer pressure, and the choices people make. Set in 1990, the story is one the director believes reflects one aspect of New Zealand culture the way it was. Well, the very first thing that someone said to me when I came to New Zealand, my very first day of school, was a kid turned around to me and he said, why don't they let Indians play soccer? And I said, why? And he said, because if they get a corner kick, they, they'll set up a dairy. And that was the, literally the very first word. Any change? I guess in some respects, in the 1990s, there, there was still quite a lot of racism, you know, for. Indians, other Asians, just anyone coming into New Zealand and I think New Zealand kind of prides itself on not being um, a racist kind of country but I think you know anyone coming from another background being in New Zealand would have felt that hold on you know there, there is something there and it's it's just kind of interesting because yeah it's it's when you are Indian or another race living in New Zealand you know especially sort of 20 years ago you, you, you did feel like an outsider. Double Happy features a carefully chosen cast of emerging actors and well-known Auckland Hindi radio presenter Neha Bhatia in the role of Lakshmi. I didn't want to make a film about um, the dairy owner Lakshmi being a victim. You know, I, I just, I, I, you know, something about that didn't sit right with me. Um, so there was something about seeing a character do a really terrible thing um, and understanding why he did it and, and kind of, while not sort of condoning it but knowing exactly what was going on in his mind. Two decades after the events depicted in the film, New Zealand is a different place. Shahir is an award-winning editor, sought-after music video director and committed film buff with an MA in script writing from Victoria University. But he's still drawing on his own experiences as an outsider to tell captivating stories. known as the art of displacement in its country of origin, France, is a physical discipline come art form, developed by the paramilitary and practiced in city streets around the world, including Wellington. For a long time, practitioners of parkour slid stealthily under the radar. But then one day, Shahir and his camera arrived and changed everything. Yeah, he just like big and borrowed his mate's time, camera time, and um, made some really, really beautiful little videos that ended up, one, of, one or two of them ended up on the front page of YouTube for a week and that wound up in like one and a half million hits. 
which is just mental. My interest in it has to do with A, how can I film it in a way that's as dynamic as what they're doing is. And then B, there is a lot of respect for architecture in it as well. So it's, it's all about reconfiguring a space that you, you know, you would ordinarily go, I've got to walk down this aisle and then this way and then this way to get from here to here. Whereas the parkour practitioner kind of goes, well, if I'm over here, I could probably get up to that, that building up there from here, you know, and, and they sort of reconfigure the space to suit them as opposed to the space telling them how, where to go. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the French Bar Film Nights. Tonight it's Double Happy's first public screening at Wellington's French Bar. While Shahir and the producer, who just happens to be his wife, are finally able to see the film find an audience, they aren't sticking around for long. She's got a job in New York, and guess who's going to? That's actually um, terrifying, because um, I've never even been there, um, but I have an opportunity to go there. So I'm not sure what that's going to bring, but again, I, I think being an outsider is a good thing. It can only add to the, your experiences that you bring to your, you know, to your work.